guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. This is Teresa. Welcome, welcome to fall 2024. It's finally here. Uh, and I, it, it, I couldn't be happier about it. Today has been cloudy and rainy and cool. And that is such a difference than what we have had for the last few weeks. Oh, it's been hot and dry and now I can feel it. I can feel it. It's coming. Today's video is going to be part of a collab that I'm doing with a handful of lovely ladies on YouTube. Um, I will link their channels below. Um, it, it's going to be actually part of a video series that I'm doing with these ladies. And there's going to be different kinds of videos. Home tours, recipes, decorate with me, um, crafts, fall crafts. So it's going to be just everything that us ladies love to watch on YouTube. Uh, so, I, like I said, I'll link their channels below. Today, I'm going to do... I, actually, before I tell you what I'm going to do, I actually have filmed a home tour. I haven't posted it yet, but I, I will, so watch out for that. Um, but today's video is something I've never done before. Uh, I've done lots of centerpieces for my dining room table, but I've never done a tablescape. And I love watching them. So, I, that's, I just thought what, the other day, I was like, well, what can I do? And... I was like, I haven't ever done a tablescape. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and hopefully this will turn out because you know how I wing everything. This, I'm using stuff I've scavenged in the house too. I didn't buy anything new for this, maybe a couple little things. But other than that, it's all just crap I've gone around and gathered up. So hang on, here we go. Okay, we gotta start somewhere. So I just cleaned the table. I'm reusing this wooden tray that I had as a centerpiece. And this runner, I got it from a little Amish shop here in town. Um, I did buy this at Hobby Lobby, but you can't see it. It was a really light color and I prefer dark wood. So I actually bought two trays this year and I stained them both. because I like a darker wood. So, this is what we're gonna start with. And then, okay, over there, you see that drawer that's open? That's where I keep my linens, my, like my placemats, my runners, and my tablecloths. Out of there, I got these placemats. Um, they're neutral. They're like a lace. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna create uh, four place settings. Oh, and I just dropped them on the floor. That's cool. Okay. So, wait, it's going to like this. So, we've got our place mats. Hang on, let me go grab the dishes. All right, I'm a mix and match kind of person, and like I said, I'm scavenging. So, I have these blue plates. And these, I don't know, do they call them salad plates or dessert plates? Um, and also, I think chargers are lovely, but I don't use them. I never have, and I don't have any. So we're, we're working without a charger today. So hold on, let me put these out. Okay, I've already changed my mind. I like these gold pumpkins, but I think that I don't like them with the centerpiece. So I went out on the front porch and I grabbed this dark blue one and this dark green one and they look velvet. Am I making a fancy? I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff together. So then I also have this bag of, honestly, I don't know what they are, wooden roses or somebody had them at a wedding. She brought it to work and she asked me if I wanted them and because I'm a hoarder I said of course I do. So I'm gonna, and there was some blue ones in here. So I'm going to, along with these pine cones, I'm gonna kind of just scatter this stuff around in here. Oh, and I got this little pumpkin candle because I really wanted something orange in here. Just to kind of, if nothing else, just to kind of bring out the orange in the plates. Okay, uh, I need more of these. 
So I'm going to put one over here. Put one over here. Put another blue one over there. You know, I'm just haphazardly putting them in here. So I think that looks cute. Oh, and I also grabbed this uh, pedestal, uh, candle pedestal to put the pumpkin on. Do you think that looks okay? I don't know. I think it looks all right. So now I just have to finish this with uh, some linen napkins. Hold on. Let me grab them. Okay, so I've got some natural colored uh, linen napkins. And I've got, now these I got at Hobby Lobby this year. They're napkin rings. I have four of them. Two of them say thankful and one of the, or two of them say um, blessed. So it kind of pulls from the thankful that's on the plate. All right, hang on. Let me get these put together. All right. I've got the napkins. Here's the one that says blessed. The dishes look nice. Placemats. Moving on, this one says thankful, and it goes along with the plate. Um, these wine, these wine glasses are goblets. Anyway, this is what we've been drinking out of. So the centerpiece is, I think it turned out really cute. Um, I'm going to show you a variation of this. If I were to be inviting... Um, company over maybe a couple of girlfriends to have coffee and snacks I'll show you what I would probably do so hold on all right this is how I would modify my tablescape if I were having a casual you know some friends over for coffee and snacks um so I would just uh, take away the placemats and replace them with the napkins underneath just put out a small plate, some silverware, a coffee cup, and then in the center, I would leave the cloche, um, but take away the tray, and then that gives me room to put um, the muffins out, and the creamer, the sugar, and the coffee pot. And of course, leave the candle lit, right? So there you go. Uh, actually did two tablescapes today I'm on it I hope you guys are enjoying your fall I hope that this inspires you to uh, decorate and play with things um, like I said it, it's kind of a scavenger hunt and there's anything wrong with that uh, so enjoy and um, don't forget to check out my ladies channels and I'll be back with my home tour very soon have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.